So in this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to utilize plan space uh, by assessing the Google Classroom platform. Okay, in my previous video, I have shown you how to utilize Padlet and all other applications. You can just go ahead and scroll the playlist uh, that are available in uh, this channel. So uh, what is Blend Space? Blend Space is a platform where a teacher or students can place all their resources in a single platform. So by doing that, the teacher or the students are able to save time uh, without having to look, okay, without having to look for different resources at a single point of time. So let me show you uh, how Blend Space is being used uh, in classroom. If you're assessing blend space for the first time in Google Classroom, you will need to go through the procedure of logging in. Let's just do that. I've already created a few lessons on my blend space. Let me just show you an example. Previously, I have created a blend space for summary writing. My idea is that I was going to use this okay, while I'm on an online session with my students using Google Meet. Okay. This has actually made my job easier because I was able to put all my resources in a single place where I would just need to click on each one of this as I am doing the online session with my students okay now you can also use this uh, blend space uh, to put all the uh, resources together uh, and send it to your students or share it to your students for them to do their revision on or to carry out an assignment Okay, I'm going to show you other blend space activities that I've made. Okay, I have also made a lesson where I've only compiled videos okay, for my students to watch. I have actually imported these videos from YouTube. So, compilation of videos. And how to stay safe from COVID-19. Okay. It was a good start off lesson as this is the current issue not only to create awareness but also to take advantage of the language learning okay now how are we going to make a lesson using blend space okay. click on new lesson okay Alright, so you need to type in the title that you want to teach them on. For example, okay, how to bake cake. Okay, so we have boxes here whereby we can drop our resources. Okay, you can start by uh, typing in your instruction in add text. Okay, choose the color of your font. Okay, so read and answer the questions given in the quiz. Okay, done. On your right, you will see options whereby you can look for the resources that you want to drop in. 
Okay, for example, you can search YouTube, uh, Google, Google Image, Flickr, uh, even insert web page. Okay, upload uh, materials from your Google Drive or even your computer. So, okay, I'm going to look for a video in YouTube. Click in YouTube. Okay, how to make a cake. Mm -hmm. Search. Mm -hmm. So I can choose the kind of video that I want to show my student. Okay. For example, I choose this. Put in here. Well, here I have a video, uh, probably showing on how to make a unicorn cake. Okay. Maybe I can drop in more videos if I want to. Next, I want to drop in some images, Google image, I have nice images here, okay, how to bake a cake, alright, okay, okay, and then a web page, insert web page. Okay, um, I can look in search Google. Okay, so I have a few recipes here. How to bake a cake like a pro, okay, like this. Okay. Now, if you need to add in more rows, just have to click add row. Okay, so here. Let's say I want to sum up the lesson by adding in quiz. Okay, so for example, what color? What color? Sorry, <laughs> what color is the cake in the first video? Well, choose to put in few options. Pink, colorful, rainbow. Okay, so okay, the answer answer will be pink. For instance, okay, click done. Okay, so you have your quiz here. I can even choose to edit your quiz. You can add in more questions. Okay, I keep adding on more questions. All right. Now, the next thing you can do is to share this layout or blank space to your students. Okay, let me click share. Okay, then I'll be given a link where I can choose to post it on Facebook or Twitter or any other account or platform that I am connected to my students with. So here, let's choose Google Classroom if you want to embed this in your classes in Google Classroom. Okay, share to a class. Mm, let's say in shadows. Transaction. Great assignment. Go. Okay. I choose to type title again. How to take okay. instruction. Read and complete. That's given. Okay. And click assign. Before that, you want to put in the due date. You can choose to do that. So 14, maybe. Okay. And click assign. Assign. So the lesson has been created and has been assigned to the classes that you have chosen. 
and uh, the students who receive the link they will go into their blend space account and go through the resources that you have given